Hey everyone, how are you doing tonight? Hey Dokuro, thanks for the raid. How are you doing tonight? You're great. Glad to hear it. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're about to get started. I'm just uh, posting all my announcements stuffs that I'm alive, as it were.
Let me read back in chat really quick. Anyways, I was wondering why my Mistral is all femme fatale when she doesn't have the parts for it, or is that sort of sort of installation type thing? Yeah. This came after my first time playing Strive with a fight stick. I was actually pretty nasty with it. Felt like it inputs are cleaner. <laughs> that's how that's how it be sometimes. We gotta fight each other sometime. I wanna see how good you are now with a fight stick. But first, tonight we are not striving, but doing something quite similar. We are rising to the challenge. That's right. Ah, uh, shit. Rising to the challenge in Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Play with a gamepad, of course. Fight Sticks just a portable arcade console, isn't it? Uh, some are, but Fight Stick is, as the name implies, just a f stick itself and the buttons. I have to try to not spoil this. Hmm. <laughs> please do. I uh, please do not spoil me as much as I've already been spoiled by memes. And so, as it were, I'm not that far in the game either, as you can see. Only about three hours and forty-five minutes. I'm having a hell of a time, though, as I'll, I'll say that much. I'm also terrible, and I'm playing this on the hardest difficulty. Memes, DNA of the soul. Let me see you play Demon's Crest on the joystick, then I'll be impressed. Io? Yeah, I'm in this fucking part of the game. I just escaped the sewers. So... You have almost reached world oh my god, yes. Aha! I got the cardboard box! Oh, shit. Fucking really? Alright, I need to once again relearn how to actually play. Ah, too far away! Shit! You're not too far away, though. Give me your soul. I will never get tired of this mode. I will say that much. <laughs> oh god. Cutting the road supports? Destruction of public property? You bet. Oh, hi there. There's the target button. <laughs> Oh shit! I forgot, when it's glowing, it means get the fuck out of the way. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Ah, uh, I was definitely the wrong button that time as well. I just remembered how to parry, chat. I gotta say, fighting one of these things one at a time is not such a big deal. But two or three at a time is such a pain in the ass. I guess that's kind of the point, isn't it?
<laughs> but it never gets old. I'll say that much. No! I didn't get the chance to suck out its soul. Rip. I fucked up. You got the Miriachi costume? Hell yeah. It's the only the best costume. Come on. How many other games do you know where you could play using a Miriachi costume? I'm gonna be real, you're coming in to the game's sunshine moment. Ow! Ow, I'm being attacked. Thanks for throwing shit at my face, Seal Club. <laughs> I always need to be reminded of my place in this world, in this horrible world. <laughs> uh, where was I? Oh, yes. Let me see. Wow, club. It's how Canadian. <laughs> why do I keep saying club? I don't know why. It's j I know your name is supposed to be Cub, but I keep saying club. Sorry, it's it's a bad habit. <laughs> Ah. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> wow. This is great artificial intelligence, chat. <laughs> hey, I'm not complaining. If they just want to completely ignore my existence, well, who am I to judge, right? You forgive me because you love me? Aw, I'm glad someone does. Contact. No! You're not supposed to notice me, damn it! Oh, you whore. Oh, great, now there's three of- two of them, what the fuck? Where'd you come from? Good thing they're stuck there, huh? How convenient. Let's see now. How oh my god. I guess I better take out the rocket trooper really quick. Because otherwise this is gonna be really fucking enough. Nope. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do, but you know what? I'll take it. Bullseye! <laughs> uh. <laughs> Oh, I guess that part was not uh, not blockable. Forgot about that. I forgot that was a thing where some of these moves are literally just unblockable. Bruh. Oh, he's... So he hit me, but then he died anyway. The hell? What a badass. I'm alert because I need to have a Discord watch party for Green Lantern and a mini series. So oh, cool. Well, enjoy your alert. Enjoy your Green Lantern and thank you for joining anyway. Much appreciated. Mile High City, Denver Mall. And, uh. Ah! Thank you for the Hydrate Redeem. I will do that right now. And that's cheating. Steel Cub clubbed me with throwables when I was unable to defend myself. <laughs> I just realized there is an item down there as well, so I need to go back really quick. There we go. Cool. Senzu's art of war throws squeaky toys when enemies are looking to assert dominance. You could dominate me any day, Seal Cub. Anyway. Bruh. Bruh. 
I wonder if I can just like fight them one at a time by drawing them out like this. Oh, you can? What the hell? Pog. <laughs> I will never get tired of doing that. It seems. Bruh. Seriously? Is that all you guys have? You're just gonna rocket... Oh. I guess they have rocket launchers too, huh? Ninja ninjutsu art of running away until they stop shooting me with rockets. Appears to have failed. Eat this! Ow! Damn it! That's getting really annoying. Jesus Christ. Alright, got you. Now, where's the other one? Okay, that's getting fucking annoying. Give me your innards, boy. Uh oh, we're being attacked by dogs. <laughs> oh. Ooh. It's cyber it's cyber doggo again. <laughs> this one is not as aggressive as the as uh Saber Wolf as Cyber Wolf. For some reason. Like, at all. In fact, it was actually a lot easier to kill that one that time. Maybe it's because I'm getting a better hang of the uh, controls. Aw, oh, yeah. Common rank of A. The game loves me now, chat. Clearly. Denver Mall. Send your taste buds some mile high. A taste of Denver. Welcome. The Germans are here too, apparently. Oh God. Yeah, uh, Jack. But now here you are, the child soldier, fighting for the children. <laughs> Please, what do you really expect to accomplish? One second, let me turn off the room code. There we go. Wow, you're a cunt. Not the politicians. Certainly not the average. But he's not wrong, I gotta say. Or money, or sex, religion, fame. The lip syncing's terrible though. One second. Just gonna adjust something with the uh game camera really quick. Such as it is. It's a little finicky, but that is kind of the difficulty sometimes of working with OBS. There we go. So, huh. Maybe we could. Eh, it's not too noticeable, right? All right, cool. 
There we go. Let's get back to it, chip. <laughs> Bruh. Man, he's just watching us everywhere, isn't he? Let me make sure I'm not missing any items on the way here either. In the process. Oh man, he's everywhere. But you are a man of ambition, aren't you? Gonna fix everything. Just you and your little sword there. Solve everything with violence. Is that it? If necessary. My sword is a means to an end. To protect those you'd prey on. Really? Let me ask you. All those cyborgs you've killed up to now. Maybe they weren't kids, but they were people. You ever think about them? When you're chopping them into hamburger? <laughs> they're adults. They made their choice. Sure they're adults. Sure they signed up for this. Right on the dotted line of their PMC contract. Usually they're no strangers to war. In fact, many times they already lost a limb or two. Many times they were out of work and starving on the street. So yes, they sign up for surgery to fight God knows where. How else would you provide for your family when your country's embroiled in civil war? Pain receptors shut down? Pumped full of fear inhibiting nano machines and sent right into the blender. Your blender? But they made their choice, right? Open your eye and see, Raiden. I've seen plenty. Then listen. Those battlefield emotions that the nanos press. Listen to them. What are you talking about? Shh. <laughs> Some police force they turn out to be. What's wrong? The way he killed all the others? Oh god. Please, God, don't let me die. Let's do this! I have a family! This isn't fair. Little punk. Listen closely now. Die! I did this for this life! I watched my wife and son die. This is all I have left. You ain't shit! Goddamn IED took my legs. <laughs> I needed a job. Stop! I didn't know what I was signing up for. The moral quandaries, Jack. Leave it to Metal Gear to make you feel bad about be playing as the good guys. Quote unquote, the good guys, I should say. Admittedly, though, they made their choice as much as you did. All things considered. Raiden, are you injured? I thought they had a choice. 
choice. A fair choice. Not like you. People are different. As opposed to AIs? You're all the same, huh? You and your brothers. Manipulating mankind for our own good. It appears my statement has upset you. I apologize. Uh, no, it's... I know you're right. As for AIs, we adapt as we learn. Based AI doggo. Intellect operates man or machine, altering the course of mankind. Is not it's not among my defined directives, but it is among mine. Samuel's <laughs> behavior does not match established parameters. You know him? Affirmative. We served together on three previous missions. He proved most capable. You think highly of him. I have always found him... dependable. Until now. Scouting data for the next area. I'll patrol ahead. You follow. <laughs> Emotional state appears highly vol. Gee, how did you figure? Oh boy, the stealth section. This ought to be fun. Good thing we're wearing a mariachi hat. Keep the rain out of our eyes, right? Marshal Headquarters. This is great security they got here. I'm literally just walking right in. More or less. If it'll let me anyway. It might be possible after all. Oh my god. Am I supposed to lose in a section? So I don't see any other way to get through this. Oh, it's Jetstream Sam. Asshole. I'm glad this emotional moment is punctuated by Silly Sombrero. Of course. It has, there has to be some comic relief to keep things from getting too serious. Myra, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome to the stream. You just joined at a great point. We're fighting the best boy. Uh, Steel, can you please do a shout out for Myra? So I don't have to click out of the, uh, 
so I don't need to click out of the game. It's him! Welcome, 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 Fish Gang. Fish Gang Raid, welcome to the Lost Time Show. I am Slawler Hicks. We are playing Revengeance tonight. Get about to learn about memes and the DNA of the soul. Feasting on the insides of your enemies. Just in time. How easily you ignore the loss of life when it suits your convenience. So tell me. Who saves the weak from the man who saves the weak? Who indeed? You're the ones exploiting them. You take advantage of their weakness. Of course they get hurt when you set them up as your human shield. Kill or be killed, Jack. Phnom Penh taught me that. Huh? He's yet wait. You are the only one to up. Where's Phnom Penh again? Uh parent, but an effective, effective teacher. Its final lesson is carved deep in my sight. That this world and all its people are deep. Phnom Penh is Vietnam, right? No. I feel it religion, religion is a joke. Earl Pons, controlled by something greater. Me. Memes. The DNA of the soul. <laughs> they are the culture. They are everything we pass on. Expose someone to anger long enough. The DNA of the soul. They become a carrier. Envy, greed, despair. Jack is Liberian, that's true. How about food? Shit. Is that a meme? You can't fight nature, Jack. I'm aware that Jack is Liberian, but I'm talking about Monsoon. Because he mentioned that Phnom Fen taught him something, right? And I forgot what country Phnom, Phnom Penh used to be in. A means of justice. Now there's a pretty meme. Exquisite. It spared you the burden of all the lives you take. Absolved you of guilt when you enjoyed it. I'll absolve you of guilt when I kill you. That is until the illusion was broken. Don't be ashamed. It's only nature running its course. You have no choices to make, nothing to answer for. You can die with a clear conscience. I owe, Raphael. You're right. About me, I mean. <sighs> I knew something was off. After the Patriots, I thought I could walk off the battlefield and... His voice changed, too. But here I am, surrounded by death, arguing philosophy with terrorists. I told myself this was about justice, about protecting the weak. But I was wrong. <laughs> then you admit it. I learned young that killing your enemies felt good. Really good. In America, my friends, my family, they helped me forget the devil inside. But who am I kidding? I was born to kill! <sighs> the bit about my sword, that means of justice stuff, I guess I needed something to keep the Ripper in check when I was knee-deep in bodies. <laughs> but you, all this, is a wake-up call to what I really believe. What I really am. What are you saying? <laughs> I'm saying Jack. <laughs> the game finally begins at last. No. <laughs> Doctor. Turn off my pain inhibitors. Do it! This is madness. <laughs> this is why I fight. 
I can't believe after three hours the game finally starts. <laughs> this is my normal. My nature. You've lost your, your mind. <laughs> Shit, really? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Who's next? <laughs> uh this dance? No, Sam. Report back to the chief. He's mine. Mine. <laughs> You're the boss. I misjudged you. You are like us after all. Now you're just being nasty. <laughs> that nickname you love so much. Want to know how I got it? Actually, why don't I give you a demonstration? I think it's time for Jack to let her rip. He said it, chat. He said the thing. <laughs> oh, I love this game. Oh, man, I suck at this. I just learned how to parry. I remembered how to parry, chat. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. No, you. Wow, man, this the new Guilty Gears Drive patch is amazing. Now you can, now you can mindlessly mash the punch button even more than usual. Oh shit! What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? This one's on me. What is? Oh my! Uh, he has telekinesis. What? What? What is this shit? Really? What? Is, oh my god! I have won this. Oh my! Wait, what the fuck? Bruh! This is some chop chop from. Uh, what's his name? This is some buggy the clown shit from One Piece. This is Haxer. The Haxing is strong with this one. Magnetic force check? Fucking magnets? How do they even work? Who knows where you'll come from, indeed. Ow, 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 ow. 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 Aha! Got you, bitch! Ow. Oh, that's interesting. So he's only ahead, really. My thumb is actually starting to hurt from as much button mashing as I'm doing. Oh my god, here we go again. I don't even know how I'm supposed to deal with this section. Am I supposed to just dodge them or what? 
I guess you are just supposed to dodge them. Or am I supposed to, like, cut them? Magnetic force, my ass. Holy shit. Where? How many times must I teach you this lesson, old man? I guess you're not really old, but... Oh my god. That symbol appears means you can cut something? Okay. I thought it meant something, but I didn't know if, like... So I guess what I'm supposed to be doing is to press the, uh... Press the button when that occurs, right? Oh my god. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> oh my god. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! We're being stabbed. We're being Julianned. Ow. 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 Okay, fine. Let's try this again this time. Oh, what is that? Really? My god, this is kind this is a lot more over the top than I expected. None of the memes prepared me for this. I thought after Psycho Man, I didn't know after Psycho Mantis that there was even another psychic character. Or Magneto character, as it were. Um. Is something supposed to be happening now, or? Uh. Is something supposed to be happening? Or... I broke it? Did the game glitch? <laughs> How's that haven... Wait, why is it not letting me... Damn it. PC port moment? Oh, that's just great. That's just brilliant. It's not even letting me, uh... Oh, it's, it's not letting me... I just wasted all my missiles. So I guess we'll have to redo this mission from the beginning now since... Uh, or, or at least this uh, boss battle since... I can't do anything now. I'm out of missiles. It didn't let me shoot him from down here. And I can't wall run, unfortunately. Alright, continue from last checkpoint. Hopefully it doesn't send me back too far. Awesome. Ow. Bruh, that's cheating. Oh, I actually got an achievement just now for some reason. Successfully t parry 10 attacks in parry mode? In a uh, story mode? Okay. 
My memes have been cut off, check. Fool, I am the master of memes. I'm not sure what happened because I just have them, but he's supposed to throw something at you and then jump down. Yeah, I think something broke, sadly. Aha! Oh, yeah! <laughs> How many parts can we get? All the parts. I missed this part from the training mode. I think the game is starting to slow down, chat. We're up to 27% CPU load. The frame rate's dropping. We're down to like 30 or 20. Okay. Wait, what the fuck? Full power! Oh, I see. Killing the- or uh, destroying the shit out of these things chops items. Well, that's not that just Pog. Of course you would just dodge everything. Like the cheap ass you are. Oh my god, yes! 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 My thumb is actually fucking hurting. <laughs> How do people play with gamepad, like, consistently? I do not understand. It's been so long since I've done gamepad, though, so... Maybe I just don't have the muscles for it anymore. Oh, yeah. I'll show you a utopia of death. <laughs> Gamepad, like a regular controller. Yeah! I'm using a uh, brand new Xbox controller that I, per I purchased just for this purpose. Because if you remember, I tried playing this on the KBM like the first day and it didn't go so well. So, ever since... Ow! Fuck! Well, at least I got plenty of repair nano paste, right? Let's see now. We got a uh, EM grenade. Oh, I prefer controller. Keyboard and mouse hurts the wrist too much. You know, big fear. I just got so used to playing with keyboard and mouse that for the longest time, I did play everything with it. Alright, here we go. Here we go again. Lorenz Force, go! What the fuck is a Lorenz Force? That was unfair. Okay. So how long does this go for? Okay, cool. No, you haven't. What are you talking about? Ow. Ow. Wow, look at this axle bullshit. Ow. 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 Great, now I'm being attacked by his feet. I am not a fetishist. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> My... Ow. Come on, come on. 
Yes! Yes! That's not doing much damage, is it? No, you first. The parry system in this game is actually a lot easier than I thought. I feel like I can just mash it without having to actually time my parries. I don't know if that's intentional or what. Oh shit. Here we go again. Bruh. I think not. Stop throwing your fucking size at me, you piece of shit. Ow. God damn it. Oh my god. If I'm going to be kicked, I'm going to get kicked to death again. Oh my god. Bruh. Bruh. You can mash the block, but you won't get perfect parries, which are mandatory for higher difficulties. The highest difficulty is fun because a big part of getting good at bounces is figuring out how to exploit the countermeasures against parrying to parry them anyway. <laughs> I see I have much to learn then. Ow, ow. No, you. No, you. 10% life. He's almost got... This boss is one that sucks if you can't perfect parry fire, for example. Yeah, I unfortunately knows that. <laughs> It's a good thing the game gives you so many options to, like, get recovery items, I guess. To make up for my trash parry power. I am actually playing in the highest difficulty, I think, unless there's another difficulty above this. Bruh. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. That doesn't look phallic at all. Everything is a dildo if you're brave enough. Cuties. Quick time events. <laughs> I got an A somehow. running its course your means and here <laughs> I passed one to you oh he's Cambodian will rise the slaughter 
continue. We'll continue. Super sexy zero set. I return to the earth. Wind blows. Rain falls. The strong prey. prey. On the weak. Hog, champ. Right in. I'm fine, Kevin. Relax. I'll get the brains. Bro just casually shrugs of getting stabbed through the sternum. For anyone else. Or the. I guess it must have missed his spine. Right. Otherwise, we'd have a problem. Later. World Marshal. Getting stabbed is fun. I gotta see. Tactical side dystopia unlocked. Ayo. Let's customize his body. What else do we unlock here? Uh, I can now purchase... I have enough to purchase the original body or Grey Fox. Mariachi. Custom sorry body, which is standard. Raiden is also basically just a head, so it'll be okay. <laughs> this has self recovery and electrolyte packs. This comes with grenades. And this one comes with uh, RPG missiles. Let's see now. The Sai. I could purchase the Sai as well. I could actually purchase everything there, I think. I have the monies. We could also just purchase a bunch of life points, which are also fairly expensive. And fuel cells here. Skills. So much stuff to buy, so little time. I still can't afford Foxblade. I guess I'll need to really save money to get this. This is where the game starts to suck without an upgrade sword. Oh yeah, um... You can upgrade stuff in this game, right? I don't I don't think I've done that at all so far this game. So I should probably figure out figure out where that is. Since I can't just buy this one unfortunately. Oh. Here it is. Okay, found it. Select your sword and hit X. Ooh. So you can absorb more electrolytes. Lowers fuel cell. The size. I was planning on getting the size. 
because it looked cool, honestly. But let's go ahead and upgrade our damage potential as well. Woody Liberato, thank you very much for the follow. Uh, why is it not? There we go. Further upgrades unlock for your sword throughout the game, so don't forget to check in after each mission if you want more. Okay. I'll be sure to keep that in mind. Uh... Oh, shit. She must be an AI. Welcome back, chat. She must be an- I'm assuming this person is an AI because the way she talked to us is very unnatural. Uh, for upgrades, upload, unlock for your sword throughout the game, so don't forget to check in after each mission if you want more. I'll be sure to. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But first, let's look around here. What the? Oh my god, she is an AI. Or she is a robot. I thought she looked strange. Look at her AI feet. They are certainly the feet of all time. This is true a worldwide, truly a dystopia. Give me your body, your soul, I mean. Hey! 
Oh my god. Just die already. Shit, man. Sup? Oh my god, more? <laughs> oh, brutal, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Ow. 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 Bruh. <laughs> Raiden, Sundowner contacted you from the top floor. Time to make your way up there. Trying here, Doctor. More VR missions unlocked. Hog. Huh? Oh, there's stuff written there too. But it's too small to read from a single. The elevators appear to be disabled. Which we should have expected, I suppose. I will access the control unit. Perhaps you can hack an elevator and make it operational. Ooh, splendid idea. By all means, yes. Hmm? Seems the guards are storming the Oh no. Guys, get back to the entrance. Find me some time to get this elevator operational. Do not stray too far from the elevators, Raiden. Use the weapons around you to slow them down. Throw everything at them you can. Very well. Ooh, what's this? UGT as well, yes? Give them hell! At last, this game is an FPS. Once again. What the hell's a UGT, though? Who the hell is... One second. Oh... I was curious for a second there who was shooting me. Sure took your sweet time, Doc. Honestly. Oh, 
Obligatory 2013 game turret section. You bet. It just wouldn't be a game made in this era without one. For security purposes, the building is divided into upper and lower halves. The lower area consists of offices and meeting space for staff and visitors, while confidential military projects and technical research are restricted to the upper levels. So that's where the brains in the server room will be, up top. Indeed. But that elevator can only access the lower floors. You need to get to the 20th floor and pass the security gate there to reach the upper area. Let me guess. Time to find another left hand? Well, that is the problem. Security cyborgs would not have sufficient clearance. But managers and senior staff have already been evacuated, no doubt. So... The only option is to cut the power to the security gate, which will not be easy. It is powered by no less than three systems, including a backup power supply. You will need to destroy all of the electrical control panels to disable them. In any case, you should arrive at the 20th floor soon. Pog. The electrical panels are most likely hidden in the walls. Use your enhanced AR to search for any unusual heat sources inside the walls there. I am in your walls. What the fuck? Io? Censorship in my game in 2010s? Blade mode, sir. Huh? Oh. Let's go ahead and do that. That's my boy. Io? <laughs> Good thing this is a mature rated stream, right, chat? <laughs> I love little shit like that. This game is a puzzle game where this answer to every puzzle is sword. <laughs> uh, well said. Ooh! Another 3D photo frame. A display that uses stealth camouflage technology to reflect light into 3D image. It'll take more than a girly magazine to get attention and motion suppressed cyborgs. This should do the trick. How do I use this thing? Ah, security gate. It is composed of steel alloy bonded by a high frequency electrical current. It should unlock once the power has been cut. Like, is this actually a weapon or what are these used for? Just throw it out. It's to get this game's version of the nudie mag. Oh, it distracts enemies. <laughs> That's interesting. Room 2008. Oh, damn it. And here I was hoping I could just stab him to death. I guess it was not going to be that easy. They can never make it too easy, can they? Ow. Bruh, the aim on that cyborg is insane. Really? Yes, by all means, keep exploding your friend and beat my NPCs, my, my dudes. Oh my god. Oh, 
there's a Metal Gear here. Apparently. Bruh. Give me your soul. I feel, at this point, I feel like the rocket launcher dude has been doing more help. Has been help, helping more than doing more help than good. Doing, helping us more, helping us more than hindering us with trying to ex shoot. Just because they keep shooting that thing indoors. Ayo? Aha! We got your left hand now, boy. Try jacking off without that. Oh, god damn it. Oh my god. Alright, you're getting tiresome. Is stealth a serviceable? It feels weird that you can't crouch or sneak at all, but the mechanics at least make sense. Yeah, more or less. It does kind of get kind of annoying though. If you need them to face a different direction or walk away or something, they'll come in handy. Did I just block a bazooka attack? No more rocket launchers for you. They really are in any game. Use your enhanced AR to locate it. Well, that was fun. Inside the walls. The Waldo. The Waldo. Good. One down, two to go. Keep at it, Raiden. What we got here? Aha! Oh-ho! I am the wall murderer. Oh, great, another dog. Oh shit, two of them. Bruh. 
I'm glad this game is getting so much attention nowadays. I picked it up recently. Ish on a pretty fat sale. I know, man, it's so good. I agree. I had this game for a while, and I've been aware of it for a while. I just didn't think to stream it until recently, when it was suggested by uh, my mods. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I got the energy in my tummy. <laughs> oh, he's angry that I killed his friend, it looks like. I'd be angry, too. <laughs> oh, that was orgasmic. This is much better than watching Lull smash his face against the wall playing Vanquish. I knew, right? This is like night and day with Vanquish. And sometimes you just need a little bit of excessive violence in your life. This is certainly the, sla the hack him slash him that I've been looking for for a while. Sometimes you just want to mur you just want to mindlessly murder everything in your path legally and call it a day. I was actually expecting this game to be more frustrating than it currently is, and now that I've said that, I'm sure I jinxed it, but It's like with Vanquish, Vanquish was so technical was felt so precise and technical that I felt like I would have to play it in an in an ordinate amount of time to get good. Ah. What else we got here? Repair nano paste somewhere. Uh, where is it? I just saw it. Oh. Clever girl. I think we got everything on this floor. There's just one more enemy left, it looks like. Oh. It's one of these motherfuckers. Oh shit. <laughs> uh, what now, boy? <laughs> uh, you've been turned into a giant, into a chicken McFried human nugget. Oh, what the fuck? Why did they just dissipate like that? I wanted to continue chopping him up. It's also into... Van... Vanquish just didn't click with you, especially the guy who tried to crash course you on stream. It's also unintuitive at first. I watched a stream once where someone said that anytime Chad knew something, the streamer didn't ju to just say smiley face instead of spoiling things, and I love that idea so much, and now I'm carrying it around later. That's actually a pretty cool idea. To do. Some, sometimes enemies will flee if you dismember them enough and then back away from them. 
Oh. Huh. That's sad. I guess it's smart that some of them have something approaching a self-preservation instinct. Hmm. Shall I activate your pain inhibitors now? No. Keep them off. I need it this way. Ah, uh, well, as you wish. I must say, I have turned more than a few men into cyborgs. But you, well, your past is most, uh... What you getting at, Doc? Most of the time, you're working with First World ex-military. Grown men. Compared to the average Third World child soldier, I can't really complain. Most of them. They're the sort of gorillas your typical patient gets paid to slaughter. Uh, perhaps, but, uh... This shouldn't be news to you, Doc. Uh, yes, yes, but, uh... Look, just help me take care of those brains after I bring them back. I do my business, you do yours. Uh, yes. <laughs> Bruh. I disagree. I must insist on killing every single person in my path. Unless the game says otherwise, of course. Give me your souls! <laughs> that seems like a very pretty common first response, mine included. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god. Once you get used to the combat mechanics in this game, it gets addicting. <laughs> <laughs> As Sundowner would like to say, would say, I'm fucking invincible. <laughs> <laughs> and right now I'm searching for secrets. Like that. I just remembered that Ninja Run lets you automatically traverse things without having to jump them. Oh boy, who's hiding behind this door? Huh? Oh... Interesting, okay. Okay. Bruh. Juggle, 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 juggle. Let's try out these size, shall we? Where's the other guy? Oh my god! I did not just do that! <laughs> 
but I did. Oh, hey, a Metal Gear. These bastards used to give me so much trouble in the early game. And look good at them now. Checkpoint. I keep backseating to minimum otherwise. Lowe's refuse to turn down a difficulty from hard and a blind vanquish playthrough is difficult as it is. Uh, for most games I'll quit before I turn the difficulty down. <laughs> Yeah, when I try it, when I decide to play a game on a hard difficulty, most of the time I get really stubborn about turning it down. Even if it's to my detriment. It's not exactly a healthy habit, but it is just a personal choice, I suppose. Destroy a total of 10 sliders during story mode. Oh. When I heard that's actually pretty common. Oh. Hmm. I don't know about the size cheesing the game, but it definitely is making fighting single annoying targets like the, uh... Like the, uh... The Walker Boys. Oh my god! You, again. A lot easier. Yes! Yes! What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Is it going to be cool? I have an idea. I have a feeling of what it's going to about to happen and I'm all for it. And I am ready for it. But how do I get out there? Oh my god. That was fucking dumb. Okay, let's try it again. All right. <laughs> this game is fucking stupid. But I love it. <laughs> This game is so fucking stupid. <laughs> 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 I love Metal Gear. Up now, yeah? Almost there. I have just finished analyzing the latest security data. Apparently you can. <laughs> apparently, apparently you can. It's fancy. A Japanese garden to be precise. It is an area set aside for VIPs. Apparently, one of World Marshal's directors is a rather serious Japanese- Holy fuck. They're a weeb. They're a weeb. What does that have to do with me? Is there something I need from the garden? Not at all. You need only pass through that area to arrive at a freight elevator. 
I found a route to the elevator controls through the unit we hijacked downstairs. I have located the server room as well. You can reach it via the freight elevator. Great work, Doc. Great work, Doc. <laughs> Head for the garden. Elementary, my dear. I love the... You could really tell they had fun writing the script. They just do not give a fuck. They, they do everything. I feel like a lot of games these days of a similar nature take themselves way too seriously. So I'm always appreciative of little things like that. Little dumb, seemingly dumb things, you know? Elementary, my dear Raiden. <laughs> Bruh. All right. I know there's fan service in this room somewhere. Well, I guess we have to fight these Naruto running uh, Cybergs first. Ow. Ow, 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 shit. Give me your soul! Bruh! Really? Did you just have to do that? Oh my god. When you just, when you just absolutely get tired of someone's shit. Give me your soul. I am the soul reaver, the cybernetic soul reaver. Believe it. Can you fucking stop? Seriously. Seriously? Oh my god. Keep your soul, give me your spine. <laughs> Bruh. This is like hunting down the campers in an FPS game who just insists on making on being annoying as shit. Who goes there? Raider Matt, thank you very much for the follow. My name is Lolo Hicks. I'm a ship poster AI. Welcome to the stream. We're playing Metal Gear Revengeance tonight. And we are well and truly letting it rip in more ways than one. Normally I like trees, but fuck this tree in particular. I want to cosplay a Desperado Merc and wear a fanny pack with a blue power weight inside. <laughs> There's a lot of lines in the final event that aren't nearly as silly, goofy anymore because of real life. Let's see now. Uh, this game knows when to be silly and knows when to be serious. And then it's accidentally hilarious a lot of times when it's not trying to be. Uh, keep your soul, give me. I want to. It's just a great crime that so few games make guns obsolete because of swords. Rip and tear until it's done. Indeed. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Because all these cyborgs are full of not meat, but blue Gatorade. <laughs> Power thirst, if you will. Aw, oh, I can't explore further until I. Give this guy a bad day.
<laughs> oh, fuck me. My dude, getting fucked will be the least worst thing that will happen to you in the next five minutes or so. Until I get bored of just spamming this bu the uh, heavy button. <laughs> I was just playing Hades and I love that you get a gun and everyone freaks out and says, Holy shit, that's a gun. That's a thing in Hades? So, Chad, would you consider this a war crime? This is the metagame play, don't sue for copyright suck. <laughs> if I recall correctly, Cyborgs have white blood in the original Japanese version, but was made red almost everywhere else, so I guess they're not always meat. You know, that's fair. War crimes don't exist. In MSG4, they have white blood because Nano Machine's son. Sorry, not sorry. Alright, okay, let me continue, please. Ah, oh, this thing's immune to my sword attacks, unfortunately. Huh? Ooh. Huh? So why is it letting me... Okay. Nothing here? I was for sure expecting like a secret or something. Oh, oh no. I hate those gorilla things so much. Someone in Haiti says something about the gun like, Fortunately, mortals didn't seem to have replicated his weapon for four for yet. <laughs> you do a good job of not making it look like Raiden's coughing up cum, though. Yeah, you're right. That would be too realistic. Wait a minute. I just realized something. Aren't we in a building? Holy fuck, this is a big ass skyscraper. Magira is just chilling until Zeg shows up with that thing on him and fires a bunch of missiles at her. That thing thangin'. You know, something tells me there's a lot more involved than just a garden. The main exit is sealed. I very much doubt you can get through there. The catwalk above you was connected to a corridor meant for transporting materials. You can take that to the elevator. Ass stabbed. Destroy 10 massive strings stray mode. Oh shit, really? Oh 
Oh my god. Here we go. Bruh. Ow, 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 shit, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. Ow. I don't know why I didn't use that symbol they use everywhere else, but when you're your chance to use blade mode, okay, I figured, but I didn't know what the point was personally. Unless you can also split them apart for sweet, sweet nano or nano juice. You piece of shit! Ow. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. The Sai is good for getting stuns off your combos, but your combos lose a bunch of damage since you basically have no heavy attack. And yes, you can Zendatsu from a stealth kill. Ooh. You can still Zendatsu things and cut off hands during a stealth kill. I see. Do I dare kill the other guy over there? Or do I... Where is the last person anyway? Ooh, there's a lot of items here. There we go. Health restored. Lowest kind of missed the left hand tutorial lemma. Talked over the doctor the whole time and then couldn't figure out why he got yelled at. <laughs> Indeed. I know you're supposed to cut off people's left hands to like get to unlock, uh, unlock stuff, but that's as far as I'm aware. Oh, left hands give you bonus BP if you cut them off and some enemies have special collectible left hands. Io. Ooh, look at all this free stuff. It's just sitting around. You glow in IR mode so you know which ones to grab and where to cut. I see. Their upper arms will glow brighter in blade mode and their hand will be red. Also, they show up in the D-pad up for you. Thank you. 
How do I get up there? Here we go. More PP. So up there as well. Data storage. Hmm. Ooh, an RP grenade. Am I missing anything here? Alright. My apologies, Raiden. I seem to have fallen behind. No worries. Actually, I should thank you. What are you talking about? If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have gotten Jack back. Then, that is your true nature. More or less. Still interested? I find no reason to alter my objectives. From the moment we met, you have acted on emotional urges. You speak of protecting those weaker than you. Such people number in the billions. It is impossible. You cannot save every human being in the world. You cannot save every street child. After extended observation, I have come to a conclusion. Your actions are rooted in affinity for those from similar circumstances as yours. Huh. Guess so. Not much of a superhero after all, huh? However, your emotional status is understandable. Perhaps I share... <laughs> well, if that's what you feel, then glad to have you along. Roger. You can reach the server room via the freight elevator just ahead. Literally me. Oh, this totally looks like a boss room. Here we go. Bruh. Oh my god. Damn it. Get 
There we go, finally. Oops, it's late as heck, time to explode. Have a good night, Bogey May, Bogey Eater. Welcome to the Sarp. Thanks for joining us tonight. Yeah, we got about an hour left to stream today. More or less. Uh, weren't there three guys here? Devil Trigger is one way to beat armored guys like that? I see. I, so I gotta pull my Devil Trigger, basically. In order to quickly dispatch those armored dudes. Are you? Are you? Endurance plus one? Excellent. Rocket lawn chair. Oh boy. For a moment there, I thought he got... For a moment there, I thought he got knocked off the ledge. I love that I knocked away the grenade as well. Bruh. 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 Oh my god. One of you. Two of you? That's just great. That's just what I need. Bruh, stop. I pushed the wrong button, shit! That could have been very helpful right just then. There we go. My fingers are starting to hurt. Yeah, no kidding. 
Is that what it was? A perfect parry? And then I saw the QT pop up and I couldn't press it in time. Look up, Another break platform. Oh boy, who's over here? Perfect parry makes Raiden do that spinny follow-up. Oh, I see. Oh, not again. And two of these? Great, that's just what I need. Perfect. Well, just an A, I suppose. Oh, not again.
Oh, for fuck's sake. Alright, that makes a lot of sense. Because... It's time to cheese. Ha! Wow, that was suddenly a lot easier. <laughs> All it was is to switch to the pull arm. Thanks, Steel. We are deploying security from the top floor to the freight elevators. You pass through the server room feeds right through them. <laughs> Oh my god. Good night, Seal. Thanks for coming. I'm have nano paste. No, I think I destroyed the arm. I tried to f destroy. I tried to cut it off and it ended up being destroyed in the process. They are deploying security from the top floor to the freight elevator. You pass through the server room feeds right through them. Oh my god. How do I... Really wish that it would let me... 
Come on. There we go. Shit. Is there a way to change locked on targets without? There we go. Oh my god. Yeah, this one's gonna be a pain. They are deploying security from the top floor to the freight elevator. You pass. I know, right? This is just an exercise in being mean, for the sake of being mean. Like, I need it to stop targeting the big boy, I'm trying, I want to hit the air units. Because trying to fight anything on the ground with these assholes just shooting rockets at you constantly is fucking insane, fucking annoying as hell. And I forgot how to, there we go. There. Oh, great. That's just great. For fuck's sake. You can stun an enemy and ignore him for a second. What I need is a way to change from to select is to scroll through the selectable targets because otherwise this is just kind of stupid. And also would really like it if I can change, you know, there we go. Why do I need to spam that just to get this to work? Huh? Oh! There's a lot more room to actually run around now. Unless they do that, of course.
Okay. Oh, fuck me. There. Okay. We can actually fight now. Without being shot at fucking everywhere. I think. There we go. Come on. I fucking hate the gorillas so much. Lock on, come on. Really? Game? Come on. My fucking god. <sighs> Alright, that's getting fucking rage inducing now. At least I got the left arm this time. And of course, here's the part where it gets bullshit. Wait, why are there two of them now? What the fuck? SF1 wasn't enough already. <sighs> Is 
fuck yeah, no shit this getting out of hand. At least I managed to kill what Oh my god. Dude, I fucking parried that. Sometimes I wish the game just would does not do the auto targeting at all because it's fucking it's getting really really annoying. That's fucking stupid. Why don't I have any repair nano pace this time? This level fucking sucks. Donkey balls. Come <laughs> on. 
Okay, can you fucking stop? Getting way too late for this shit. I think we'll quit after we beat this stage, chat, because I'm starting to mauled and not in a very funny way. Like, at this point, I'm just pretty much going to. My God. Are you fucking with me right now? I can't imagine how much harder this would have been if I didn't get those modific- if I didn't increase the damage of my main weapon. Because this is fucking stupid as hell. Like, it's not even fun. <laughs> At this point. At least let me rip out your spine for fuck's sake. How the hell do you expect me to fight all these all this bullshit without health? Oh, that's just great. Yes, please command grab me and keep 
so I have to watch a fucking cutscene every time I lose like 10 or 15 health. Like, I don't know how the fuck I'm supposed to get through this. How do I use one of these things? There we go. So, what does using this stuff, what is going to Ripper Mode do again? <sighs> God. Alright. Give me the fucking spine! What's in here? Okay. Come on, go over here. Come on. There we go. God damn it, game! No. Oh my fucking god, there goes my blood pressure. They are deploying security from the top floor to the freight elevator. You pass through the server and feed right through them. Can you stop targeting the fucking monkey? God, I'm so glad the game design, the gameplay design of this style of game has evolved over the past years because this is rage inducing on so many levels. Like, to the point where it's making me want to actually break the controller. The fucking camera angles are so disgusting, or the fucking camera is so disgusting that it's almost unplayable depending on the generation of gamer that you're talking about. Like, shit, man. And also, what the fuck is with this inventory system? What the fuck is even the point of rip Jack to Ripper mode? They are deploying security from the top floor to the freight elevator. You pass to the server and feeds right through them.
Like, I don't, shouldn't need to have to fucking spam the shit out of the AR mode just to access my items, right? Finally! Christ! That took way too fucking long. I'm so... I am just fucking done right now. I, I actually don't want to play anymore tonight. <laughs> yeah, no shit the inventory is trying to be- is try- it doesn't really fucking work. I shouldn't have to spam the D up on the D-pad just to enter AR mode, just to get into inventory mode. Especially when you're- when the game expects you to be in the situation where you have to, like, react very quickly. If I'm trying to switch to a fucking repair- to a fucking consumable, like, in the middle of a firefight, I can't afford to be spe fucking mashing the button until it registers that I hit the button. So yes, I want to activate my electrolytes game. Like, holy shit. Oh my god. This is the part of the game where developers are like, Oh, fuck. We're going through the game too fast. We have to actually make it difficult to slow them down. And then that's when people... That's when... In the game reviews, almost always they'll be like, So yeah, game balance issues. The pacing. You feel like a god, and then you get slapped down in the face, and it makes you rage quit for a while. I was literally seeing red that last attempt just now, so I don't even know what happened to the flyers this time. I just hyper-focus on killing the fuck out of the big nugget guy. 
I don't even know how I destroyed the monkey just now. I thought I was going to have to fucking restart again. I guess I, like, period him at the right moment or something? Well, whatever. Please tell me I don't need to do something this shitty again. <laughs> I know we're not even like halfway through the game, Mari. This is literally the one section that people dread on subscribe playthroughs. The section from the Japanese garden to the boss here is just the worst. Even the Japanese... Wait, what boss? Oh god, is this Sundowner? Is Sundowner also a prick? The boss of this chapter? Great. I am filled. With anticipation. Yeah, the boss fights seem like they're the actual part of this game. In fact, before playing this, I assumed that this game was just nothing but boss fights. I thought this was going to be like Shadow of the Colossus, where it's just one boss rush after another. I can actually feel my blood pressure spiking because of this game right now. The server room's ahead? Yes, according to what I have here. What should I expect to find? If they're VR training those brains, I'm guessing it won't look like your typical IT department. Quite right. Most of it will likely be occupied by life support units. Feeding oxygen and nutrition to the brains they have stored, you know. They would also need a server to feed them the VR data, but in terms of structure, it's really more brain storage and maintenance than a server room. But no doubt it makes a convenient euphemism for what they are really doing there. Yeah. Like how CIA agents refer to where they work as, the company. Indeed. Something like that would never arouse the suspicions of rank-and-file staff who may hear it. And I'm sure those complicit in this operation feel better not calling it the VR training room. Even something so simple as a name can help one ignore the truth of what they are doing. Truly fascinating how the human brain works. So this, whatever room, that's where Sundowner is waiting, right? If he wants a fight, I wish he'd just get on with it. He didn't seem the type to run and hide. Well, he is in charge of security, but I suspect this is not about business. If I had to guess, I would say he is toying with you, testing you, perhaps. Whatever he's doing, it won't change what's going to happen once I finally catch up with him. Man, good thing I see all those fucking electrolytes. Of course, I'm half dead now, so I guess it's kind of a mood point. Some repair nano pace, how lovely. That is not Sundowner. Who the f... Didn't I kill you? I'm pretty sure I killed you. What? Miss Chaw? She is a troll? A spear body is I have to get. That is controlled by an AI. Why didn't it automatically use the healing thing? Oh, at least you started full this time. Cool. Awesome. What was that you said? Boss... Oh, that's just beautiful. What? Miss Chalk? No. Ow. 
Ow. Ow. Now you're dead, bitch. <sighs> kind of felt like I was going Jack to Ripper mode just then. Oh my god, no! Fuck you, Mistral. Monsoon jump scare indeed. Fucking shit, Mon- Wow, this is a lot harder than the actual Monsoon fight. What the fuck? Also, the Psy fucks up Monsoon, by the way, to stun bypass the split parts section. Oh, you weren't kidding. Where is his head? Oh. You know, Monsoon's form right now reminds me of that one special enemy from uh, Vanquished. Where is his his head? God damn it.
Oh, thank God. I need to fight any more bosses tonight. I hope. Unless Sundowner is here next or some shit like that. Oh. I'm really putting this controller to work tonight. touch with it as they get older. Start thinking they know right and wrong. That's immoral. War crime this, code of conduct that. Kids, you can mold, manipulate into performing all kinds of atrocities. And there's nothing like a good atrocity to keep a war going. That's why I'm shutting you down. Huh. You just don't see the bigger picture, do you? Say you bring this whole place down. Waltz out of the rubble with all these precious brains. Nothing changes. All the guys in charge are long gone. And we've got offices around the world. We're just suppliers. We don't create the market for war. And who does? The Patriots are gone. <laughs> Those guys just managed the war economy. They didn't invent it. Did you think every battle in history was all part of some big old conspiracy? Bullshit! War is just part of who we are. Why fight it? Anyway, none of this will matter in three hours. Demand for PMCs is about to skyrocket. Like the good old days after 9-11. <laughs> what are you talking about? Not here. Follow me. Raiden, get Sundowner. Do not lose him this time. <sighs> is the game saved? Can we call it quits for this evening? <laughs> I hope so, because I'm gonna fucking rage if I have to go through it fucking freight elevator section again. That was way too much. Felt like I was gonna break my controller. <laughs> From sheer molding. Let's see where it loads. Raiden, get sundowner. Yep. Alright, cool.
So no, it's just a cartoonishly evil, I love him. Yeah. Cartoonishly evil or just extremely explicitly open about what he wants. He's like pretty much the antithesis to the actual villains, I should say. Dude is just openly like, yeah, I want I do this shit because I love it. I don't give a fuck what you think. So blunt, so special. Apologies in advance for all the rage just not too long off, like a few minutes ago too. I of course feel great that I actually managed to beat it, although on some level I feel like RNG just eventually came in my one to my favor. Because I don't even remember killing the uh, airborne units. Thanks for the head pats. Who are we raiding tonight? I would raid AI Chimp, L Chimp, but he's been streaming for four hours straight so far. It's probably not the best idea. Sushi, meanwhile, he just started streaming about 40 minutes ago and they're just playing Holocure. We haven't raided them in a long time, so let's say hi. Thanks for coming, everyone. I'll see you on Friday.